Hello friends and family, my name is Daniel Burl and welcome to Diary of a Manic. Today's topic is going to be hypochondria, also known as health anxiety, hypochondriasis. So, hypochondriacs become obsessed with the idea that they may have a life-threatening disease or other serious condition that hasn't been diagnosed. This causes anxiety that can go on for months or longer. Hypochondriasis is actually categorized as a somatic amplification disorder. That means a disorder of perception or cognition. And the amplification is they perceive that they have this illness and they amplify it to the point where they become obsessed. It's natural to have anxiety about your health once in a while. So don't just assume you, you're a hypochondriac if, you, if you're worried about your health once in a while. Health anxiety goes above and beyond to affect your home, work, social life, or other aspects of your life. In rare cases, severe hypochondria can be disabling to the individual. Oftentimes, the anxiety will not subside even after they're given a clean bill of health by their own health care practitioner. Many hypochondriacs make religious trips to the doctor's office or hospitals as a result of this anxiety. Other hypochondriacs won't even talk about their terror with others that they usually confide in at the risk of not being taken seriously. Oftentimes they won't even talk to their doctor about it because they think they believe they won't be taken seriously enough. Hypochondria also goes hand in hand with a lot of other mental disorders a lot of the time, such as depression, OCD, or generalized anxiety disorder. This can lead to the individual stemming symptoms of depression, etc., into hypochondriasis, where they may believe their change in appetite or weight fluctuation is a result of the disease that they perceive they have or other physical disorder that they think they might have. The media has a large part to play in the cause of hypochondriasis, as articles, TV shows, and other reports often regard serious illnesses such as cancer or multiple sclerosis and portray them as being random, obscure, and somewhat inevitable. Cyberchondria is a term you probably know a cyberchondriac. That's a, this, this one is pretty common. Uh, cyberchondria is a term which refers to individuals who use the internet to research medical conditions which may lead to be which may lead to or be a result of hypochondria. We've all gone on WebMD and thought that we had lupus because we typed in the wrong thing or just that was the top one and obviously it was wrong. So um, other other causes or other possible causes of hypochondriasis are predicted pandemics or outbreaks, major outbreaks of disease, sorry. Uh, overly protective caregivers often cause hypochondriasis. Um, disease leading to the death of a family or friend, family member or friend, sorry. And many other things. There's no real cemented, concrete, I should say, concrete, uh, cause of hypochondria. Targeted psychotherapy and medication are said to help the individuals ease the anxiety that they experience. Anxiety medication is often like antidepressants, however, where you may have to find the right fit. So therapy is often the better, the better fit that way. Uh, antipsychotic medications have also been shown to show improvement in individuals with hypochondriasis, but it's not really uh, it's not really recommended because it's not usually a psychotic situation. So I would like to thank uh, Mr. Mushroom Man for, or Mr. Mushroom, sorry, for sending me this uh, suggestion because this was this was really interesting to research. That's for sure. And be sure to check out his channel. I'll leave it in the link below. Or, sorry, can't talk to you. I'll leave it in the description below. So be sure to check out his channel if you like my videos. Me, not me. 
then be sure to like, subscribe, and last but not least, have a great day, guys.